Hey guys, this is Anu from Flap Systems, and I hope you guys are having a very good day. Today I'm back with another tutorial, and this time we are going to be doing a small project where I'm going to show you how to control drone running on PX4 firmware via Python, and the results will be outputted in real time on Gazebo Simulator and Q Ground Control. So without any further ado, let's get started. And as always, I have linked my GitHub repo for you guys to get started with installation procedure. Let's just go through it first. All right, this is the page you're going to see when you open up the link. All right. So first we have to actually, oh yeah, I have to point it out that for those guys who haven't installed PX4 autopilot and gazebo and QGC, uh, can actually click on this link. Yeah, you, you can actually click on this uh, link and you will be directed to this page. And uh, this, this is a documentation where you can actually install all the softwares so that we can get going. All right. So great. Yeah. So I have also a YouTube tutorial that you can follow, follow, follow along with. So yeah. So that's that and let's move on to the main part. So yeah, let's go down. Yeah, we have to install PyCharm, right? So we need a code editor. So I'm going to be using PyCharm for it. And for those who want to follow me can actually install PyCharm and you can just click here and you will be guided to the PyCharm's official website from where you can download the .tar, .tar file and you can unpackage it and uh, follow up the installation procedure and get going right so for those who have installed it already let's get going let's go to the documents actually let's select this yeah before that uh, you should note that uh, currently the version is 2020.3.3 so this may change if a newer version comes along so you should actually uh, keep an eye on this or anyway I will update it anyways but yeah so let's just copy that control c and let's open up the terminal control alt plus t or you can just click the terminal in the sidebar <coughs> sorry so let's control shift and v to paste and yeah oh yeah i don't have it in the home directory i have it in the documents so let's go to the documents Yes, now let's control shift V. Oh, no, no, okay. And let's go into the bin. And bin. And let's open up PyCharm. PyCharm. Dot SH. <coughs> Sorry. All right. So it's opening up. And there you go. So let's open. Let's create a new project. So for now, for the sake of this tutorial, let's name it PX4 Python project, Python project. All right. Looks good. And yeah, uh, for, uh, for guys who have got this part ticked, you should actually untick it. So you must have like this. So untick it. We won't be needing that. So let's create and uh, let's go in, go here and actually g get this step two. Let's just copy this. Control C. Let's go into PyCharm and we have everything loaded. We control V and paste the. Okay, it's cop cloned, so it's gonna come here right. So let's collapse. Okay, open this pi pi file. We are going going to be code. We are going to code here. So let's clear it out and let us start coding. So we are importing async here and Mav SDK and from Mav SDK we are gonna import system. So here the system is going to get connected with the UAV port ID. Okay. So and to check the connection 
we are going to check check our connection here and if there is a positive feedback we are going to uh, print out the uiv target uav target uuid so this will actually um, say that we have connected to the uh, uav all right so now we will check for the health status of gps if whether we have a lock on our position or not and this code will do that and then we are going to do when then we are going to arm our uav and await uav dot action dot arm which is quite straightforward so you just have to type in that and it will arm the quadcopter will arm or the uav will arm itself and then it will take off okay so that then it will take off uh, in a take off and this all this should be happening in 10 seconds so we have a sleep function 10 and then we will land it and then we will land it and that's it so yeah that's all about the code let's just go to the page our documentation page and let's open up gazebo and autopilot so let's actually create a new terminal control alt plus t and uh, let's so i have px4 in my home directory so i'm just going to copy this thing out and i'm going to paste it here and okay there we go so yeah there should be a space here i forgot to put it all right i will just update it after this video so gazebo will open px4 will open and there you go and we will also open q ground control let's again get into open one more terminal and let's go to the page and q ground control all right so i do have my q ground control in documents so let's go into documents and control shift v and open up q ground control so so uh, we are going to open up the q ground control so we will copy this out and paste it in terminal but before that i would like to uh, let you know that i have saved my q ground control dot app image in documents that why that's why i am going into documents and then opening it up so when you are doing it if you are saved it somewhere else you have to direct your folder direct your direct to that directory and then open this q ground control so anyway let's continue let's control c and uh, yeah let's control shift v and uh, that will open up the q ground control and yes that will open it up and let's just go to the pie charm and yeah so i did a check on whether if it's working or not so yeah it's working fine so i will show you how to uh, get this code working uh, it's working actually but yeah so to run this code you have to go here and press this play button or you could just right click it and do that but you can see that uh, the quadcopter is taking off and it's gonna land and you can also see that there is changes happening in q ground control but it's not that uh, there's nothing much to see here as it's not moving anywhere else so in next video we will be focusing on that and we will actually be doing uh, we will also be uh, adding a camera feed so you can actually see what the camera of drone is seeing and even program it to uh, look to one side or any direction that you want to so we will be doing that so i i am excited for it i will be bringing that very soon so till then have a good day peace out